My name is Laura Herrera. I'm the Deputy Secretary of Public Health Services for the Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. I also serve as the Chair of the Advisory Committee for the Prescription Drug Monitoring Program, as well as serve as a board member for the Chesapeake Regional Information System for our patients, or CRIS, the State Designated Health Information Exchange. Opioid abuse and overdose is a growing public health problem nationally and in Maryland. Unintentional drug overdose deaths due to opioid analgesics have been growing since 2000, exceeding both cocaine and heroin. In Maryland, there has been a shift in the demographics of individuals affected. Data from 2007 to 2012 shows an increase in deaths among white males between the ages of 25 and 44. During the same time period, there has been an increase in admissions for publicly funded substance use disorder treatment. Beginning in December 2013, the Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene's Prescription Drug Monitoring Program will give healthcare providers a powerful new clinical tool for the identification and prevention of prescription drug-related substance use disorders. For the first time, complete Maryland-controlled substance prescription profiles are available. Access to the Prescription Drug Monitoring Program data will be provided at no cost to physicians, physician assistants, nurse practitioners, pharmacists, and others that prescribe or dispense controlled substances. Created by state law in 2011, the Prescription Drug Monitoring Program requires drug dispensers to electronically report information for each controlled substance prescription dispensed to a patient in Maryland. Both in-state and non-resident pharmacies, as well as healthcare practitioners that dispense controlled substances are required to report. Merely writing prescriptions is not required to be reported, only dispensing. For the implementation of the Prescription Drug Monitoring Program, DHMH has partnered with CRISP, the Statewide Health Information Exchange, to facilitate quick and convenient access to PDMP data at the point of care. The Health Information Exchange web-based query portal will now provide the prescription information reported to the PDMP right alongside the other clinical data currently available through CRISP, all in an easy-to-use display that can be configured by the user. The information available in CRISP will allow providers the ability to, one, identify aberrant drug-using behavior, such as those individuals receiving multiple controlled dangerous substances from other providers, two, improve a provider's ability to identify possible substance use disorders and refer to appropriate assessment, treatment, and recovery services, three, improve a provider's ability to safely and effectively manage patients' pain and other conditions with controlled dangerous substances pharmacotherapy, and lastly, it will increase confidence in prescribing decisions and patient compliance and decrease potential for harmful drug interactions. DHMH and local health departments throughout Maryland are committed to supporting providers' ability to make appropriate referrals to substance use disorder assessment, treatment, and recovery services. The following websites provide more information about the Prescription Drug Monitoring Program. For information regarding the CRISP portal, information can be accessed at crisphealth.org. For information regarding the Alcohol and Drug Abuse Administration oversight of the Prescription Drug Monitoring Program, information can be found at adaa.dhmh.maryland.gov and for information regarding treatment locators or treatment coordinators, information can also be found on the DHMH website at adaa.dhmh.maryland.gov. My name is Ingvild Olson and I am the Medical Director at the Institute for Behavior Resources Reach Health Services Clinic in Baltimore City. My name is Al Goldstein. I've been a pharmacist for 31 years and I'm currently employed at Neighbor Care Pharmacy in Maryland. So the PDMP has really helped my treatment processes in that now the information that I'm able to get from the PDMP can help me confirm what my patients are telling me, as well as clarify questions that they might have, that I have about various different medications that they're getting, when they're getting them, who they're getting them from, and combinations of medications which they might not remember or that they're unsure of when their last refill was. A pharmacist has a duty to make sure that the prescriptions we're filling have a legitimate medical use. And up to now, we haven't had a tool that allowed that short of calling the doctor, and the doctor's not always available to take our call. Now we can see what a patient is getting, and we can check for red flags. 
So the main reason that I really encourage other physicians to use the PDMP is because as physicians, our goal is to um, help people improve their overall health. And the information that is available through the PDMP as part of the CRISP portal is unbelievably helpful in enabling us to help our patients reach the goal of health and recovery. Well, access to the PDMP data through CRISP has had a huge positive impact on our practice. Now we're able to make sure the patients get their medications, and just as importantly, the people who don't deserve those fills don't get them. The department thanks you in its partnership with CRISP and DHMH in its efforts to control opioid abuse and overdose in the state of Maryland. Thank you.